The descendants of Charlemagne are many, and I too share their blood. However, my family was a minor one, seen as incapable of climbing to higher rises. With my brothers and sisters, we set out to make our claims on the world. From Ravensburg, I served in East Francia, but through careful alliances and planning, something was forged. With mercenaries and thousands of allies, our armies fought against King Louis the Younger, and through some miracle of God, we won. The cost was great, with one of my dear brothers serving on the opposing side and losing his life. You now see Adelhard, King of Italy, Though I fear a mighty game of shadows and rebellions has now begun. We have gained a title, but now we must earn it in the face of many, including that of the mighty, venerable Adalberto, the Duke of Tuscany who cut down many of our warriors and our nobles. Welcome now to our first council meeting, where you're here to advise King Adelhard. Klaus von Ravensburg, you say that we should push against the Islamic advance, and that rings true. Once we stabilize the realm, and subjects have come to accept King Adelhard, we shall reclaim the core provinces that once belonged to Rome. Sir Carlyle, you also give your input to the council stating that the king should focus on infrastructure and internal development before looking outwards. This too holds wisdom, and it may take years of fighting for the vainglorious nobles of the land to accept our king. Now finally, we have Leon, another notable knight of ours. Much like our first counselor, you too wish to see the unification of these lands before we turn outwards. You have our promise that we shall focus internally before looking beyond our borders. Before we jump into our episode, I do want to let you know there are ways to support me if you don't want to become a patron or a YouTube member of the channel. What you can do, you can buy some merchandise right over here if you want a nice shirt. We'll be getting more designs over time. And also, if you want to buy a game, any game that you might buy anyway. You can buy it from my store and get one official Steam key, and that's a great way to support me too. It's all linked down below, so do check it out, and as always, until then. I've been playing Crusader Kings 3 since launch, and not once have I ever had a count become a king in four years. That's been incredible to me. Not too much on the map has changed, because again, it's only been four years. We have King Adelhard of Italy. He was a count a Count of Ravensburg, and here he is now at 28 years of age, with a wife who's only 20, and one heir. Prince Carl, he's keen-eared like his mother, and also, he's gonna have many children. That could be a bad thing according to Salic law, but we shall see in time. Now my journey has not been an easy one. It took many marriages, but not only that, it took bloodshed. My brother was killed in battle. I don't blame him. I'm not angry at him for what he did. He served his king well, and he died in battle. Adolf the Angry. That took him down. Look at that. He's not even one of my own knights. But he killed my brother. I do have other family members. Like over here. Duke Berengar, the deceiver. He's not feeling well. He's a liar. But he is just, and he's a bit shy too. He's got only one child. And he's got some power. I do wish my other brother was over here. Now, we're not going to make choices to maximize everything that I can do for myself. We're going to think about our family and even base a few decisions off of our own character's traits. I don't want to just elevate my own status here. And because power is not really centralized as well as it should be, we should potentially put a family member on a throne. I could do that. It is an option. Now, if I do that for my brother over here... Berengar, I don't know how long he would be able to last. His constitution is not quite as sturdy as mine. And not only that, I would lose a lot of lands over here, but that to me is not a big deal because we have so much more to conquer. And as you can see, I do control all of Italy. The other issue is I do have people who dislike me. Now to counteract that problem, here's what I did. I had to get some new council members here. As you can see, we've got Duke Adalberto. He did hurt my side quite a bit. He was only wounded by a nameless soldier. I have no idea who he was, but he did a great job. Look at him. He's a monster of warfare, a legendary blade master. He's vengeful. He's a great leader too, but I've made him my marshal. I cannot hold it personally. If I do that, I would be punitive and I would punish the many Italian nobles of these lands. If I do that, things will not end well for me. 
And he's also pretty good at commanding. But not only that, he leads a lot of men. 1,700 and how many? 43 men. He could potentially lead some type of rebellion and potentially beat me. I wouldn't be able to beat him in combat. He's got a son over here too. Adalberto, the Italian. Oh, he's extra Italian. 18 prowess? That small child could shake your hand and break it. He's like, nice to meet you. And you're like, why do you sound like that? What do you mean? I'm just a strong baby child. Then over here, we have another Duke, the Duke of Province. 51 years old. He's been disfigured. He's one ugly fellow. Oh, imagine him just showing up to your party. It's great to meet you. I am Duke Engelbato. It would be a little bit strange. He would scare all the small children. He has only one child right now. Look at that, 31. He's not doing very well. He's a pretty good commander, surprisingly. He's unlanded. Your own son, unlanded? How cruel. No, we're gonna be about family, even though it might cause issues for me, but he leads 815 men. He's also quite good at intrigue, but because of my choice here, they don't hate me nearly as much. Now, over here, we've got a few other members. I've got my cupbearer. He's a knight of mine. He gave me some advice, and now he's a knight of mine. 27 years old. Pretty good at fighting, too. We do have one of my mightiest members here. I found him, and I brought him over. Harold. He's not only my court dwarf. He's also one of my most incredible knights. 23 prowess. He's strong, he likes to party, and he's rather brave. Oh, and he does have an anger problem, in addition to being a little bit of a liar, but that's okay. He keeps saying, hey, look, I'm actually six feet tall, and we're like, Harold, come on. You're not. Then we have that young man. Right over here, Duke Lambert, if you remember him. We fought him early on. Now he's a man. He was a boy then, but now he's a man. He leads 1,200 men. I did make him the master of the horse. We have over here my high almoner. Now he's very talented. 62 years old. He looks ancient like a vampire, but he's only 62. 33 learning. That's amazing. So over here, I'm having him donate to the poor. The clergy doesn't like it. They're like, ah, but I need my tithes here. But he's providing for me 2.1 prestige per month because of his high skill and 21 to direct vassal opinion. It's because of him. There will be no rebellions, most likely. Oh, and we do get a higher levy reinforcement rate, as you can see over here. Now, you might be asking, why are there so many new things in your game? I do have a massive mod collection linked down below, so do check that out, just to kind of like note that vocally. And down over here, we do, of course, have our tax collector, Hema, and my champion. I do have better champions, but I needed to give him a job. Now, let's have a look at what benefits I get from my other minor titles. So, Master of the Horse, my men at arms are a bit cheaper. It's probably the least effective role, for the most part. I mean... He's able to help out my horsemen, but I haven't really tried that. Not too often, anyway. We have over here, Harold. Let's see here. He's greeting every guest I have. I could have him focus on court presentation. Huh, interesting. More general opinion. But I don't want people to kill me. I really don't, so we're not going to do that. I could have him praise me a lot, but again, we're not going to do that either. Now, for my cupbearer, what he's doing is quite important. Disease resistance, more prestige, and hostile scheme resistance too. That's going to keep me going. He could boost my stats, but I do not want that. I do not like that idea. Now, we do have a few things over here that I would like to do. We're going to have a look at those. Here's one decision. The Monza treasure. It's right over here. I wanted to ensure that all of you knew where it was at. The city of Monza was favored greatly by the Lombard kings. As a result, the cathedral now houses one of the largest treasuries in Christendom. Full of the many golden accessories, and most importantly, the Iron Crown of Lombardy, only guarded by a few priests. If I were to, let's say, move that collection to my private residence, I would greatly anger the church, but I would assure myself as the true king of Italy and bring great honor to my dynasty. We'll think about it. It could happen. Maybe it won't be me. It could be his son. I don't think I would do it. But it could happen. That is true. Now, I do not like my priests at all. I wonder... I could try to transfer him. An ungifted Rome priest is a burden, which unbearably must be disposed of at times. I will do that. I've got to. He's not good at all. 
Now, I also need to think about where I want to conquer. I need a good capital over here because I need to be close to my people. For now, I am very far away. And currently, the old kings are still very much alive. King Lothair, Charles the Bald over here. He's a family member too. That's my uncle, by the way. And here's my cousin. Then I've got my other uncle. He doesn't like me very much, but that's okay. He's a bit older. But my family is all over Europe. I'm only a minor member of that tree. But now, I suppose, I've become much more major. What about taking Napoli? I like that. I think we should do it. Yeah, look at him. He's not very good at his job. So I think right now, we'll let time pass on for a little bit. Sure. We need marriages here. Now, you don't know her because she's not really important, but she was married to my brother. She's in my court, and so I had her marry a pretty powerful fellow, Klaus. I am led into the chamber to be received by His Holiness Pope Callistus with great friendliness before he proceeds to introduce me to two possible candidates. Interesting. Now, I wonder who is better. Your learning is, oh, quite poor. Do you hate me, Pope? I feel like the Pope hates me. Now, what about him? 21? You're hired. 75 gold? I'll take it. It's a lot of money, but I do need someone decent. Unfortunately, the Pope will have a weak hook on me. I'm going to permit it. It's happened. All right. I know you do not endorse me right now, but that is okay. I do have a scheme currently. I'm trying to sway Duke Lambert. I need every duke to like me locally if I want to survive over here. And I shall do my best. And here's what you're going to do. I want you to forge a claim for me. And by the way, you're going to have a new name. You'll be named after one patron, Roberto. There we go. It is done. I do love your mustache. And I have a new perk as well. Chivalric Dominance. I'll take that. We need that, I think. My knights will hopefully conquer many more people. Later, we'll want to reduce the overall cost of any Cassis Belly. Especially by half. I mean, you can't really beat that. I know, you do not endorse me. Not yet, but give it a bit. 28 gold? I want 30 gold. We have one mayor in prison currently, but that's okay. So, right now, we'll get ready to get a new claim, and hopefully there's not going to be any wars around us. Oh, what about you? You're fighting that fellow. Oh, you're losing too. And here's a very talented warrior. 20 prowess, really? And he's a giant? How much money? 25? I'll take him too. I want every notable fighter that I can get. My mercenaries are going away, and I shall need more soldiers. You know what? I'll take it here. Give me your 28. I wasn't going to, but it's only 2 gold. I'm not that greedy. Now, if I had my greedy trait, then I would be. Now, we get to wait for a bit until we finally get our claim over in Napoli. Adalberto, I could teach your son. I'm going to do that, sure. Here we go. Now, for my new knight. He's Anglo-Saxon. He's a giant man. I should also find him a giant. We could breed some giant warriors, and I like that idea. There we go. We need to find someone relatively young. 21. Oh, you're very young. Look at her. What a neck. Oh, she could pick out the best leaves from any tree. I like her. Well, she's going to join our side now. And now we just need to wait for our claim over here. Then hopefully those two will fight together. Look, I'll let her fight. She's huge. Now we don't need her for that. We need her for potentially making more giant babies. Well, thank you, Duke. Look at that. He's beginning to like me more. If I begin too many offensive wars, people are going to hate me a lot. So I've got to be careful with what I do. Minus 20 right now. My reign has been short. Minus 19. And we do not match up in culture. That's a bad thing. But hopefully in time, it'll change up. Alright, how's my family doing? They're doing okay. You have only one child, my little sister. Only one. I still do have allies out there. Now what about my aunt? She's 41. And again, only one child. He's actually not a bad commander. He likes to eat, as you can well tell. He's got those uh, well-fed cheeks. Alright, so I'm currently at 78 gold. I would like to get a new group of men at arms. Andre! You're a blade master? Adalberto, you know how to teach people. 
Well, I like that. 19 prowess. I'll take it. He began with only a base skill of 7. That's really good. Wait, Warhounds? Really? It counters archers. I like that. That's really good. They're relatively cheap. Not too cheap, but relatively cheap. Oh, we have a new reputation. Ominous reputation. Dread gain up by 20%. Natural dread up by 15. That's actually really good for me. I'll take it. And I'll take some bowmen too. I know it's a lot of money, but we do need more soldiers who serve only me. Now I've got my mercenaries. I've got one group left. Hopefully we'll have time to use them over here where we can conquer my future capital. I think it'll be a good capital. And my god, I want your hat. See, I partially want your lands, but I actually want your hat. That's a good hat. My brother wants me to join a feast. Well, I can do that for you, my brother. Sure. Man, you're really not educated, are you? Poor guy. He's doing his best, I know that, but come on. A warm welcome. Look at me, and I need you to look at him. We are very different people. Evidently, our father's genes all went into me. And what's over here? 57 gold? I'll only be in debt. Oh, wait, for a brief moment. Now, again, we had a party. I got a claim. I think the claim set me off a little bit more than the party. Because now, my wife is pregnant. We're going to have another child, potentially. Unfortunately, I do need a bit more prestige before I can fight him. Defender, lower tier, different faiths. Claim titles, understood. Okay, we'll have to wait a bit. That's all right, I'm getting more money. Things are doing quite well. I mean, I've got my kingdom. I can't do too much until I take some time to maintain the peace. I'm actually very shocked at how kind they've been to me. I thought they would be angry, but when you look at it, they haven't been coming after me. We're largely okay currently. Ah, there you are, 37. A Carling. Now, he hates me, that's understandable. He wants a seat on my council. I got rid of him. But that's all right. Oh. You don't have any prestige, nor gold. You're actually in debt. What is going on over here? What are you doing? Do you have a large army? I have no idea. And my brother converted cultures. Now that, I'm not a large fan of. And here's another son. You're kidding me. Oh, he's wonderful. He's going to have many, many children too. Now... What am I going to call him? Reinhold. Lambert. Lambert! That's a good name. We'll take that name. So now I have another son. That's two boys over here. In time, they're going to need to focus on what they can. He's only two. I don't know what he's going to specialize in just yet. I need to know more about his personality. Now, Duke Lambert is beginning to like me more and more. And so is Adalbert. The gift of generosity. Ah, Adalberto. All right, let's see here. He's been impressed with one of the household knights for a very long time. Interesting. Give others their due, and you will receive your own in turn. So he could be generous. Sure, why not? Be kind, kid. Yeah, unlike your father, be kind. He's a very, very harsh man. Your other kids are not nearly as talented, so sure, I'll train him. Now, we do have a faction. Oh, <gasps> wait. My own brother? My own brother is trying to take my title. I can't believe it. My own brother. Okay. What should I do about that? I could find out some secrets over here about him. I think I might have to. I've been allowing my spy master to disrupt any schemes, but right now, I need to learn more. I can't believe he's done that. We've never gotten along, but he's my brother. And I'll do what I can. We could get a new claim. That's an option. Again, he doesn't like me. I do need to sway him. Let's come over here. I'm going to sway Roberto. Done. Because I do need his support. Otherwise, no levies or taxes will be given to me from his church holdings. And that's a really bad thing. When it comes to control, we're largely okay. There's only a few locations that are not doing okay. My minor titles are doing fine too. Yeah, overall... We're fine. We just need to wait for a new war to happen, eventually. I know that my brother wants to fight me, and a few other people do as well, but what if I potentially appeased a few of them? I could grant you some vassals over here. Yeah, sure. Here's a one-legged count. Enjoy. 
Now he likes me more. Maybe he'll go away. That's my hope, anyway. Come on, brother. 80 gold? Aunt Bird, you saved me here. That's going to do a lot of good. Now, I can't be in debt during a war. If I am, people will begin to dislike me more. Wait, my cousin was killed. Look at that, 18 years old, and he's dead. Killed by Marino. What a shame. Another dead family member. There's my aunt. She had only one child, and that child is dead. There goes another line of our family. Oh, here's a new event. Caesar's Triumph. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amused to learn about Julius Caesar's exploits during his conquest of Gaul. Interesting, I could become a military engineer. I could become one unyielding defender. I'll pick that one, sure. I like that. Fatal casualties, I'm all about that. Every single day. Unfortunately, Prince Louis, my cousin, is not free to come after me. I really do not like that. I wonder who might betray me. Adalberto, you wouldn't do it, right, buddy? You wouldn't. You know what? Here's a prince for you. Enjoy. Now you get to lord over him. Foreign culture group. You are French. Understandable. Let's come back over here. Oh, my dear brother. What is your issue? I gave you a vassal. You should like me a lot more. But we're still going to have to fight, evidently. All right. Is there anyone else over here I need to worry about? There's a few people, for sure. Now, he's infirm. He's going to die at some point. That's a good thing for me. I've got 148 gold. I do need more piety. I've got to watch out for what's going to happen very soon. I'm currently not endorsed by my archbishop, which is what I need right now. I need one event to trigger. That way, he's going to like me more and help me out during the war. That's what I need today. So we just need to hold on and hopefully see what's going to happen. Prince Louis, he's not coming to bother me yet. It's only my brother at the moment. And in half a year, he's coming from my head. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court. Sure. I know you don't care for me. You're not feeling well, but I'll join your party, sick kid. I can do that for you. I'm the king. I'm a nice guy. Ludwig, you're still alive at 67? I can't believe it. And what's over here? As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my vassal, Count Rodolfo, goes on and on about sword practice. If I do that, I'll gain plus one to diplomacy and learning. But what about talking about him? I want him to like me more because I need him to like me more. We need people who don't want to kill me. Evidently, I've entered an episode of Food Wars. What are these vegetables? I'm with sweet. Oh, and these wonderful little desserts. The feast has some of the best food I've ever tasted. My stress has gone down. My life has been reaffirmed for five years. Imagine having food so good, you're like, you know what? For the next five years, I'm going to feel amazing. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it right now, buddy. Thank you. And goodbye to you. He likes me more. All of my stress is gone. All of my mercenaries are gone too, which does worry me. I cannot go into debt. If I do, people will begin to dislike me more and more. And what now? Wait, you're a cannibal? Bishop, what is going on over there? I do not like that. My wife is pregnant. We shared bad news and she became pregnant. All right, support my scheme. Because right now I need Roberto to like me and I need him to like me now. Wait, what happened? You can't join a faction. Right, you're a young lady. Oh, your father and your brother, they caught the plague and now they're dead. <laughs> I mean, may God have pity on their souls. All right, we'll have to wait for quite some time as we try to keep the peace over here. I could promote my culture, but that's got to wait. I'm currently 30 years old and all we've done so far is trying to keep the peace because we're about to have to fight our own people. They are very unhappy. I'm going to do my best in time to maintain the peace, but right now, things are quite difficult. And soon, we're going to have a war. My son and heir, Carl, is an unusually calm child. When the others play their wild games, Carl often withdraws to some silent corner. He does not speak a lot, but I can tell he's always thinking about something. So he's pensive. He's got a plus one to stewardship and learning. When it comes to what I want you to focus on, let's make it learning. There. Now I wonder, 
Who should educate you? It could be me, that's true. I'm not so bad. But what about that old man? I'll let him do it. 35 for learning. That's incredible. Oh, he's going to teach you everything you need to know. Don't you die, old man. You teach my boy. All right. We've got to get ready. The war is coming. I've got a new perk now. Never back down. We'll take that one. Fatal casualties. Those will go down by 20%, which is a lot. During battle, many, but usually not most, soldiers are killed or too badly wounded to ever fight again. These are permanent casualties as opposed to merely rounded casualties. And over here, a battle advantage. Battle advantage makes one side in battle do more damage. The higher the advantage, the more damage the soldiers will do. Great. I'll take it. That belongs to me. They want to fight me. Oh, they can do it. I know they're unhappy. And here we go. There we are. <laughs> My brother. I love you. But you are a fool. I'm not going to serve you. It is now time for my army to get together. I could call in some allies too. I've got 197 gold, which is really not too bad. Count Combo, come join me. You've got quite a few men. He's a very powerful count. Unfortunately, he's old. In time, I will no longer be able to call upon him. And my other brother. You've got only one location, but you've got over 500 men. Not bad at all. Come join me too, pikemen and footmen. Call to war. Let's get ready now. We'll kill them all. We'll have to. Come join me now. Very good. Thank you, my brother-in-law. And my brother, too. Everyone, come on down. I'm going to lead my own army. We'll come over here and try to kill what we can. I think I can win. We'll have to be careful for sure. But I do believe I can win. Let's go down. I've got a third son. I'm going to name you after my own father. Eberhard. Perfect. All right, I've got three boys now. Hopefully, they will actually get along, unlike me and my brothers, which has been quite unfortunate. Wait, here we go. We've got over 800 men over here. Mariana, you like me more. Oh, that's my niece over here. I was wondering who you were. Unfortunately, your father is a knave and a fool. I'll see you at dinner. <laughs> All right, let's go down. I've got heavy infantry. I've got what I need to win. I just need to come over here and beat them, hopefully. If I could catch them before they join their friends, oh, that would truly be ideal. There we go. Perfect. Over 800 men. Let's beat them now. Come on. Do you have any good knights at all? You've got a few good knights, like Corrado. He's right over there. Cut them down. Carl, good job. You got one. Let's have a look over here. I gained 133 fame. That's very good for me. I did lose 65 men. He lost over 800 men. 817. Only 9 survived. What a horrible way to go. Oh, look at that. Bernhard. You killed him. Good job. Who's over here? Bernhard again. And Andre. And here's Harold. My court dwarf. He killed 18 men. I love him. I don't mean to really point out how well he did. Wait, here's another dead guy. Good job, Carl. We got them. We crushed them in battle. Good. Let's come over here. I worked very hard to get many knights over to my side. I know I'm getting older now, but they should be able to continue to help me out in battle. All right, I've caught you now. Let's catch all of them over here. There we go. Who's in command? Lando. Lando! No wonder. He's a traitor. Good job, Gil. We've got allies on the way. Prince Louis is not here to bother me, thankfully. Adalberto likes me a decent amount. I lost only 79 men. I gained 192 fame. And it was a slaughter. Good. Wow. Two knights dead on their side. Lando died. Manso died. Who got him? Klaus. And over here? Oh, look at you go. Good job. We caught many of them. But we're not done yet, are we? No, we're not. We've got to capture what we can. Let's go. Landoff. Okay, so we got a son. Very good. Look at your family. Everyone's dead. Your brothers are dead. You might be dead in time. You're not feeling great. Well, hopefully in time, the war is going to end. That way you can patch up and be okay. Let's have a look over here. 
There's only one faction who wants to kill me. And you can't join. <gasps> Your father and brother died to the plague? That's unfortunate. But fortunate for me. Evidently, God hates you. I've gotten an idea on my attempts to align Roberto to my interests. Interesting. No. I'm going to keep it diplomatic. Now he likes me a lot more. Very good. Before we move on, let's have a look at Alberto. You're fighting two wars right now. Wait. <gasps> I can't believe it. Look at that. Prince Louis is causing him issues over here. That's actually great. So if Prince Louis was under my command, he probably would have rebelled against me. But because I gave him to Adalberto, he's now fighting Adalberto, who likes me even more. That's incredible. I wish I planned that out. I didn't. It just worked out really, really well. My old friend. Okay, so no wonder Prince Louis is not trying to fight me. I understand now. That's really good. Now, I could have my daughter marry your son. It's an idea. You've got a daughter, too. We should do that. Yeah, we should do that. Because if we do, he's not going to bother me. We'll do it then. Sure. We've got to. Perfect. All right. So now he's not going to betray me. Adalberto's a very powerful man. He knows how to fight. He's getting older, but he's got many years of being able to fight quite well. And his son over here, 18 prowess total. That's incredible. I love it. All right. Landolf died. That was quick. And we have a new alliance. Good. Thank you, my child. Thank you. Usually siblings fight over which one gets a good controller to use. But back then, you've got wars going on. Incredible. We got one count. Oh, man. Just because I made him use the Mad Cat's controller once, he's all angry about it. But I did catch one count, and evidently, he's quite weak now. Good, good. If I do sell over here, I would lose some gold, but I could go straight to his capital. That would save me time. We'll do that then. Let's go. I can't believe giving away Prince Louis was a good call. Now I know. That's going to help me out a lot. Adalberto, are you okay? Don't let him beat you. Salt in the wound. While I was at the market with Adalberto, his attention was caught by a criminal chained. Interesting. He's callous right now. Eh, let him be callous. He's not my kid. I don't mind. We'll come over here. I've got to take over one location. Oh, you died? Died in my dungeons. Look, my dungeons are nice. You need to calm down. What's over here? My wife gained diplomatic expertise. So we get plus one to diplomacy. Good work. I'll take it. All right, let's wait over here. We're about to take over their capital. And evidently, she's gotten quite good at getting me into the bed. Because keep in mind, I'm chased. I'm like, hey, look. I don't mind having a few moments here. But I've got work to do, lady. Done. We did it. We won. 20 gold gained. Conrad, you changed your own culture, which I do get. And we are done. My brother, how could you? You didn't need to do that, you fool. And I didn't hire mercenaries. I now have over 200 gold. Wait, who do we have now? Oh, look at that. We have many who can't join a new faction. We've got over here Duke Conrad, who went native. We'll have to watch out for him, too. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. We've got the power, I hope. I hope we do, anyway. 213 gold. I think I'll be okay. When it comes to what I'll do with all of them, I'm not quite sure yet. I don't want to kill my brother. I did lose one in a war. It's been a very unique campaign for me. I gained so much power in a very short amount of time, and already I'm having to fight my own family. Over here, I've got to banish my brother. Imprisoned characters can be banished from the realm. It is quite harsh, but he did try to topple me. You've got to go. Goodbye. Now, what about you, Count? What can I do to you? I'm going to banish you, too. You're gone. Rodolfo? I know, you had great food. You had a good party. Goodbye. Now, for my niece over here. I'm going to let you go. Sure. You can join my court. I could use her for a marriage. And I'll get a hook, too. Perfect. We'll take that. Now, here's another count. 
I've got to banish you. Well, I want to, but I don't want to gain any more tyranny. That can go down over time. I'll keep you there. What about you? Let's see. I could recruit you. You're not very good. No, not at all. Can you pay me? You're not going to pay me. Okay, never mind. You can wait. Land off. Let's see here. I could also recruit you. I don't know how good you are. No, I'll wait. I'll make 10 gold from you. And we've got a few more prisoners as well. Are you worth anything? Not really. Coleman? That's one more. Are you any good? No, you're not any good either. Alright, that should do it. I've done everything that I want to. Now, when it comes to rebellions, we have only a bunch of peasants who want to fight me. And they're about to tell me what they want. And I know what they want. I could go native too. It's an option. I might do it. Here we go. Nightly practice. The clanking of mail and the clashing of swords rings in my ears as my knights practice their arms. I study them intently, trying to ascertain each one's particular strengths and weaknesses. Interesting. I could gain a perk. I do want that, sure. I'll take it. And many, many are gone. Look at that. He's got 70 claims over here. Someone could recruit him. He's poor right now. And I wonder. Oh, look at that. Rudolph, <laughs> you've got power. Berengar is gone, and you've got so much more power than you did. Well, good for you. So my brother who helped me out now has many lands over here. Good for him. Hopefully he won't betray me. I should probably sway him right now. Come on, brother. Don't do it. I could also create a cadet branch, but why would I do that? Oh, right. Because I'm not the house leader right now. I might do that. I'm going to think about it. It might not be a bad idea. I've got plenty of money. But if you want to give me more money, give me more money. Oh, here we go. More practice. Henry glances at the mud fields at the bottom of the hill. Those could serve as the outline of an enemy army, he says. I inform my knights as I inspect their battle line, preparing them for the strategy at hand. Yeah, sure. Give me a perk. I want a perk right now. Great, I got one. That's even better. All right. King's Guard. Four more knights. I'll take it. Actually, I'll come over here. Serve the crown. I could use some dread. I need some dread right now. I need people to fear me a little bit. I'm not here to be cruel, but I need to be feared a little bit. And what do you have going on? You do like me a lot. Things are looking okay. I've got over 200 gold, over 200 prestige, and 200 piety. Things are finally getting better. Now, what about that civil war over here? You're not winning right now. You're fighting two wars. Oh, you're also fighting Duke Lambert. Really? People hate you a lot. Well, I'm glad you're not fighting me. That puts me into a good mood. The Count gave me some gold, and my brother would like me to join his feast over here. I can do that for him. A warm welcome. Good. And after that, we're going to war. But for now, we can enjoy some time, some peace over here. I'm not going to create a new branch yet. You can hold on. Give it a bit, okay? Oh, look at that. My wife, who's only 25, is now a better doctor. Well, that's even better for me. Her learning has gone up. I do love that woman. Oh, a daughter, really? Hildeberg. That is a lovely name. We'll take it. Perfect. Now, what about my other boys over here? You are Pence of Two. We'll have you focus on stewardship, all right? You can do that much. Now, who's going to educate you? It's going to be someone really, really good. Who do we have over here? When it comes to stewardship, I'm not very good. It's got to be you. You've got 10 learning. You've got 10 learning and a decent stewardship, so I'll pick her. Teach my child and do a good job. All right, you've got your guardian. He is very much alive right now. Good. Don't you die on me, Prince Bishop. Oh, look at that. The locals want to fight me. I do understand. We'll fight them eventually, too. Who's over here? Duke Conrad. Duke Conrad of Savoy. Well, very well. We do have a lot of territory. It's understandable that he would want to fight me. Well, good luck to you. Wait, who's trying to kill my wife right now? You? You're trying to kill my wife? You fool. All right, I'm getting rid of him. 
It doesn't matter who he is. I've got to kill him. You can't try to kill my wife. If you try that, I'll kill you. That is not beyond my code. You've got to understand. There isn't really an idea of centralized power around here. You would have sons rebelling against their fathers and deposing them. And then putting them back on saying, hey, make me co-emperor. The idea of leadership was a little bit different when it came to kings and emperors. But here we go. Coleman is gone now. People are dying quickly. I should let you go, I suppose. I could. If I do that, I'm getting a hook then. All right. There we go. Now, I want my capital, and what about you? Adalberto, please do not lose your war, though currently you are losing one war. You're going to lose your duchy, and I like you a lot. We're friends. I hope you know that. We are friends. Now, I could go after... Oh, it's you. Your wife died. From what? Oh, killed during a siege. What a shame. We'll see in time what might happen. Now, I'm going to wait for my perk here. Because I want to be able to declare war and have it be a little bit cheaper. Unfortunately, my son's teacher is now dead and my wife is again pregnant. Evidently, she hated him. Let's come back over here. Look at him. He's growing up already. I love that kid. Wait, no, no, no. I don't want to give him money. Hold on, hold on. I want to have him educated. But by who? You. You're very good. You're a very well-read man. We'll take that. And over here, a new perk. There we go. Now to declare war will be much cheaper. That's what I needed. How old am I, by the way? 33. Not too old. Let's come over here, too. 50 years old. He's feeling fine. He's got a great hat. There. It's much cheaper. I didn't want to spend all of my prestige. That felt like a very bad idea. So let's get everyone together, and let's go down. Now that my brother likes me more... I probably need Charles to like me a lot. He's allied to so many people, including the Byzantine Empire. I fear him. He could easily beat me. He could easily take over everything. There's no way that I could beat him. What's over here? Oh, peasants want to fight. Okay. I suppose we can do that. We'll come over here and beat their leader. If I do that, we'll capture every enemy leader who wants to come fight me. And who do we have? We've got you. Oh, you're very good at fighting and commanding. Interesting. And Duke Conrad, 35 years old. Oh, you're about to have a bad day. Let's go in and fight. The Iron Unbent. I have a new nickname. That's interesting. Oh, that's over. We beat them. That was a very quick war. And I could take your money. I'm going to think about it. You don't really hate me that much. I would banish you, but... Alright, give me some money. 100 gold is a lot of money. And I do need that right now. Okay. Let's go down. I could probably use some new allies if I want to stay alive. I'll have to carefully pick out who's going to marry who. Alliance power. 3,400 men. You're very far away, Adalberto. You're only one, though. He wouldn't be able to marry you for a very long time. That feels wrong. And over here, we've got 2,100 men. You've got to do it. Yeah, you've got some power. We can do that. Get married then. I don't mind. Now, who else do we have? Because once more, we want to ensure that we've got allies to call in. Because if we do not, we are done for. That'll be it for me. I need very powerful people. 3,000 men. Not bad. 1,900 men. Alberto again. Moravia, 1,400 men. But you've got 3,000 men. We'll take it. I'll take it. Perfect. Now, my heir, we're going to wait and see. You are my heir. Hopefully, that should deter Charles over here, who's quite powerful, as you can well see. He's allied to Nevada. He's allied to... Quite a few powers, but more importantly, the Byzantine Empire. They're way too powerful for me. Oh, look at that, a division. We'll have a look at that in just a moment in further detail, but for now, let's move down and see what we can do about our future capital. I've got a beautiful daughter over here. You can be named after my wife. That's wonderful. 
We'll have to marry her off too. We've got so many new alliances over here, and Uncle, I know that you hate me, I understand. I wasn't meant to have power. If you look at history, Adelhard never really did anything of grand import, but I have now. Things have changed up a little bit, so here I am. An arrow to the balcony. Altbert, it's about time for you to go. We've got to get rid of him. There, he's dead. Maybe don't threaten my wife, you idiot. Solitude in the Great Hall. Adalberto seems to have been having a difficult time at our latest feast. Interesting. Sure, you can be shy. And over here, we did disembark. We need some more time to rest up. Otherwise, we'll have a bad time fighting a battle. And off we go. And we won one battle, but we're not done yet. We've got to keep on fighting. Now, let's come over here. Oh, I've got a claim. Interesting. Good to know. I'm busy right now, but good to know. I'm not going to fight the Pope. All right, Charles, you do like me more. Good, good, good. You need to like me more, or I'm done for. Look at that. He's got over 4,000 men, but more importantly, his allies over 7,000 men. I would be dead. Quickly, too. I've got power. I'm a king, but there are mightier kings out there. Oh, look at that. He's been swayed. He likes me more. My knight has become better. And over here. We have none of our knights here, which is fine. We're still winning. We're doing fine. We don't need to really worry too much. I'm not calling any allies into war. My skilled brother. Interesting. Oh, he's actually a great commander and a great fighter. Hey, good for you, brother. I'm proud of you, boy. Look at that. He's a drunkard, but he knows how to fight. I could have him take the reins. I would lose prestige. We would gain more development. You know what? I'm not going to be prideful. You take what you need. We beat them again. And here we are. We now have taken over. That gave me 27 gold. Wonderful. I finally took over. Disband all. We did it. We finally got it. Now, I'm going to have to move over here. Move Rome capital here. Done. I've got my new capital right down over here. I'm not going to create my new branch yet. I lost only 31 men. We beat them in battle. That was great. They didn't have great knights. And who are you? You're an older man. 30 learning. That's really good. But give me money anyway. I don't mind. So. Why don't we have a look at our current status? Bulgaria is not doing very well. One day I'm going to play as Bulgaria. Because usually they get torn apart in here. So I do want to help them out one day. Let's have a look around. We've got many powers, and I do need to play over in India one day, too. Anyway, oh, look at them. They have a very old Khan. Kagan. Who else do we have? Kazaria. Oh, they're doing well, surprisingly. They're fighting the Byzantine Empire. I wonder, could they win? They are defending, so maybe not. The Byzantine Empire is currently attacking. They've got some money and power. He's neutral towards me. Your child over here is a queen of Bavaria. That's interesting. Now, let's have a look. So, Charles the Bald is only 55. He's feeling fine right now. He likes me a lot more, which is good, because he's more powerful than I am. King Lothair, 42 years old. He's comparable. I could probably beat him, though. But he is comparable. I'll have to get some more men-at-arms. Then over here to the east, who do we have? Ludwig the Younger. So your father passed on, and your lands were divided. 2,500 men, Bavaria, 2,500 men as well. King Arnulf. So we do have options on what we could go after. And we've got to think about that. So do consider every choice here before you say, hey, you should go fight here or there. We've got to be quite careful. We now have 14 members over here. My poor aunt, she lost her only son. He died in battle. But that's okay. Do leave a like and comment right down below. And thank you for supporting me and my channel too. And look forward to another chapter. We've got a lot of drama here. What's very interesting is that even though I'm a king, I'm not the most powerful king. I had to spend many years here 
just trying to keep the peace. I'm currently 35 and I still need more levies. So we'll see in time what we can do about reorganizing all the lands over here. But until then, 